Hi friends, hope you are fine. In the last video we discussed about two vital qualities, totipotency and plasticity of plants that helps us to do plant tissue culture easily. Today we have a very short video on how do totipotent cells differentiate. Totipotent cells are cells that are capable of giving rise to a complete plant. Totipotency is the inherent capacity of a plant cell to give rise to a complete plant. This totipotent cell can give rise to embryo-like structures which is called as embryoids in plant tissue culture. So embryogenesis can happen forming embryo-like structures which is called as embryoid. These embryo-like structures can give rise to a complete plant. The second option is organogenesis, formation of organs, that is shooting and rooting. Totipotent cells can directly give rise to either only shoot formation, then it is called as collagenesis. If only root formation, then it is called as a ruticalis. The process is called as rhizogenesis. If both shoots and roots are formed within a callus, then it is called as colorhizogenesis. And the third way is these totipotent cells sometimes differentiate to form vascular elements. The process is called as cytodifferentiation or histogenesis as vascular tissues are formed. Vascular tissues, xylem and phloem are formed as a result of cytodifferentiation. So these are the ways by which totipotent cells differentiate in in vitro plant tissue culture. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.